And primarily what I do is I go out and I talk about the services that Addison provides and look for opportunities for us to collaborate with existing community resources, um, <clears throat> enhance and develop relationships uh, like in the Wilkinsburg School District. Yeah, as an elder, we're, uh, we're expected to be good role models for the young men that we're entrusted in our care and supervision on the trip and basically provide the, the supervision as well as feedback and help to, to help them to develop into you know young adults one day. With the exception of Atlanta, the, this was my first time to most of the places that we had an opportunity to visit. Um, I was real excited about the opportunity to go on the trip because first of all, I think part of the best education you can give a person is travel. These young people, even though they had an opportunity, as well as myself, to read about certain things and hear about certain things, once you actually get there and you're able to experience them, and some of these things they haven't even learned about yet, but they'll be able to connect um, the visual part and the things that they experience with what they're actually learning in the classroom. So they can actually come back as teachers um, themselves. So I'm sure they had a wealth of information to bring back to their families as well as their, uh, their classmates and teachers once they came back to school. Well, they were just uh, very enthusiastic. They asked a lot of questions. Um, we were able to, you know, to get back a lot of feedback, provide a lot of feedback for the kids. See, I know when we had an opportunity to visit the Edgars, um, home, Merle Evers came in, and I saw the movie Mississippi Burning, and just I thought about Whoopi Goldberg playing her in the movie, and it was a very emotional time, because, you know, when you think about the sacrifices that these people made, the civil rights leaders, um, for a lot of the things that we're afforded today, um, it just basically hit home. Um, so that was a very surreal moment for myself as well as some of the other adults that were in the room. But, you know, she was very giving of her time and, and just very sincere. So that was probably the time that stuck out the most for me in, in the whole trip. Well, personally, I think there's a, a disconnect with some of our older youth in terms of their history. Um, and the whole civil rights movement, I think a lot of times they take things for granted. Uh, whereas with this program, what it's helping to do is to reconnect our youth with their history um, so that they understand it and they don't take things for granted, like voting. <clears throat> uh, Medgar Evers basically died um, trying to register people to vote. I mean, here's a man who served his country went to World War II, um, fought in the military, came back and was denied the right to vote. And, you know, he was basically killed because he was out registering, trying to register people to vote. So he was never able, he never ever voted in an election, <clears throat> um, but he gave his life so that other people would have be afforded that opportunity. And I think that's extremely important to keep his legacy alive and that these young people understand that. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if some of the older kids have been able to, to make that connection. Once again, I just think it's important that the, you know, each one teach one that philosophy. Um, it's important that the older men give the younger males an opportunity to to grow up and, and learn what it is uh, to become a man. <clears throat> um, unfortunately, a lot of these young people don't have uh, male role models to look up for to whether it's in their home or sometimes in the community. So it's important for us to provide um, those roles for them. <clears throat> so on the trip, we were able to talk a lot about families and talk a lot about our jobs and what we do and uh, our education and how important that is. and. Um, their behavior, so they got to see how we interacted with each other as men, um, as well as them um, on the bus. So by the end of the tour, everybody knew everybody, and I think we came back uh, a lot closer, and um, <clears throat> there were a lot of bonds and friendships that were developed over the trip, because some of these kids hadn't been away from home ever. Uh, so, you know, just in terms of them taking direction initially from a stranger, but at the end of that trip, um, you know, now they know me as Mr. Rick, where before they didn't really 
know who I was, but now I have a good connection with these guys and hopefully will continue um, right through, you know, the, their high school years. Um, <clears throat> so I'm real pleased about that and having that opportunity.